uh, Z axis and we're gonna make that just beyond the camera's bounds S X on my keyboard to scale us on the X X axis and S Z on my keyboard to scale us on the uh, Z axis and we're gonna make that just beyond the camera's bounds um, and in the scene in the red we're gonna call this red back call that red back because it's gonna be the background so this is gonna be our uh, our, our redness so we're gonna hit use nodes and change the color to a solid red a darker solid red maybe something not as vibrant because when you look at the Marvel red it's not like a vibrant you know bloody looking red or something um, so that is that we're gonna give that a quick render real quick see what it looks like see what it looks like um, oop, we need to turn on ambient occlusion for this scene um, so in our world tab we're hitting new and turn on ambient occlusion and turn this color to solid black so now we can give this a render see what it looks like uh, that is too bright. That is way too bright. So with material on, we'll change this color and we'll you know turn that down like that. We need this to be quite dark, but still a bit bit more vibrant than that as well. So that looks pretty good. Well, let's give that a quick render. See what it looks like. Um, I think that's pretty good. We can always change that later on, but uh, that's going to be that for now. So with our red back scene, we're going to go back to our words scene up at the top there, and we're going to add in the word studios. As you can tell, studios comes out of the bottom there. Um, and I've always uh, I've always loved that. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab uh, a nice place and for reference this line kind of comes out of nowhere, right? So what we're gonna do, yeah, the line kind of comes out of nowhere. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a, a line. So Shift A Plane R X 90. We just did this, <laughs> and then S Z to scale on the Z axis, and we're gonna scale this really really thin. So S Z something like that. And then we're going to go SX and scale this on the X axis and just until the edge of the word Marvel there. And the same thing on this side. That's close enough for that side. All right. And then we're going to drag this on down uh, underneath our word Marvel. That's actually not close enough. I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard, go to line select mode, and we're going to drag this edge all the way on out because that's going to bother me. All right. So that's pretty good. That is that. And now we have our line, but we need a second line now. So what I'm going to do is before we do that, I'm going to go to uh, this little object data tab right here, right, with the upside down triangle. And we're going to hit two shape keys, one, two, right there. And on key one, we're going to go back into tab mode on our uh, on our line and select the bottom line. Still in line select mode down here. We're going to select the bottom line. Um, and we're going to scroll this up. We're going to scroll this up, but with magnet on, we're going to hit magnet. And then this little box right here, we're going to make sure that's on edge. Um, and then we're going to hit, uh, we're going to drag this on up and it'll just automatically lock to that line. So boom, we can let go. And now that line is locked. So what we just did pretty much was with this key one, um, if I move this value up, you can see that the line disappears, which is exactly what we need. So if I, if I take a look at this, uh, turn the line off, turn that off. And if I try and select, whoa, ooh, I can't find it now. <laughs> All right, so if I box select, just grab that. I can't grab it. Ah, okay. So over here, if that happens and you can't find the plane, just type over here in the side, plane, and then select that one because we have the first scene in the, the first plane is the red back. So select in the words, just select that plane right there if you can't find it again because it's so thin. All right, so with our value on zero, um, it's going to be 100% there, and with it on 1, it's gone. So what we're going to do is I'm going to decide where I want the words Marvel to start fading into the scene. So in our main scene with the actual comic book pages, if we play this until I want to start fading in about right there, so about frame 80, I want this to start uh, fading in since it stops on frame 123. I want this to start fading in, maybe a bit before that. On frame 70, I want this to start fading in. So what we're going to do is go back to our our words, and on frame 80, uh, 70, sorry. On frame 70, I want this to start fading in. So the words Marvel are going to be almost faded in by the time we get to frame 80. So on frame 80, we're going to have this line uh, appear. Um, so, you know, we'll, do, we'll go on 80, we'll go on 90, we'll go on 90, we'll give it some more time, yeah. So on frame 90, we're going to add in a keyframe with this value on uh, 1, we're going to hit I, hover our cursor over top of that value, and hit I, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yes, go 10 frames. We're going to change this value to 0, um, and then hit I again. So on, on frame 90, you can see that th that comes out just like that. 
It just comes out and the line appears from nowhere, which is exactly how they have it uh, in the actual Marvel intro. So that's nice. But we need a second line now. So the way we fix this is on the second line with that with the first line. So we're going to hit Shift D to duplicate that. Right click to cancel movement. And we're going to move this down. So on the first frame, I'm going to turn on automatic keyframing and hit I location on the first frame uh, before you can see the line appear. And then on the last frame, which is when it's all the way on zero, when the value is all the way on zero and you can completely see the line now, we're going to move this down to about right there. It's about right there. And since we had automatic keyframing on that, automatically added a keyframe right there. So now when we play this, you should be able to see that we have the lines come out and they come down just like that. Um, so that looks pretty good, but it comes out a little too fast. So on one frame 120, I want to add in a location, and this location will be the same, but on frame 100, the frame we just added for this bottom frame, for this bottom line, hit G, Z on my keyboard and move this up slightly. So then when we play this, it'll fade into going down. You see what I just did there? So instead of just stopping, it kind of fades into a stop, which looks better. So now that was that was pretty compli complicated, but hopefully we got all that done. If you need to rewind, uh, you definitely have that option. So uh, with the word Marvel, we can now go ahead and duplicate this word Marvel and with with automatic keyframing off. So we don't add in some keyframes that we don't need. I'm going to scroll this down and uh, scale it down with the S key. Scale it down and scale it on the x-axis X axis a lot, so SX to scale it that way. And I'm going to scale it down some more because the letters need to be thinner. Um, so I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and type in uh, Tuts by Kai. Why not? We're going to type in Tuts by Kai instead of Studios. Um, and that is going to be that. And with our text over here, we're going to change the font uh, back to the original Blender font, which does not look good ever. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to make it look a little bit better than, than usual. So I'm going to try and play around with this offset to get it back in the center, um, which looks pretty good about right there. It looks pretty good, yeah. So we'll move this down until this is in the center of the two lines, which is about somewhere right there. GY to move on the Y axis only. Um, so that's pretty good. I'm going to scale these, these letters down because that still doesn't look too good. And I'm going to change the letter spacing and space them out a lot because the word studios in the Marvel logo, you can see is very, very, very spaced out. Um, so that is that. Um, and that's also a bit too scrunchy. So we'll do something like that and then we'll space the letters out even more. Looks pretty good like that. And uh, that looks pretty good. I do say so. It looks like uh, the word studios. And uh, to make this look a, bit, a little bit better and not like the default Blender font, we're going to change the modification offset. So we're going to scroll that down and make it a bit thinner. Um, we don't want to do this too much, too much because if you do it too much, you'll be able to see we get some weird artifacts. So I'm only going to go to somewhere around like 0 .012, 0 0 0.011, something like that. So that's that looks pretty good. Um, and as you can tell now, our camera is off-center. The Marvel words and the Tuts by Kai are completely not in the center anymore since... Uh, we had that uh, align itself. So the way we're going to fix this is uh, we're going to, as you can tell, we, we can, we're going to fix that in a second. But I want to fix the, the the problem we have with the camera here. It's not in the center anymore. Um, so when this these lines come out, which is uh, frame 100 it ends on, I want to have this camera move. So we're going to hit location, and then we're going to go to frame 90, and we're going to hit location as well. And... Um, we're going to scroll this down on frame 100. We're going to scroll this down until that's approximately in the center. And I'm going to get rid of the grid. So I just plus and scroll all the way down and get rid of display, grid floor, and X and Y so we can see a bit better what we're doing. Um, and I'm going to get rid of that uh, cursor as well. So now we can see where exactly we are. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and location with the camera selected. So now instead of just the, the lines moving, the camera moves as well. And makes up for it compensates for the words touched by Kai coming down at the bottom, so it, it remains to be in the center. Um, so uh, I think that could be a bit more in the center. So we'll go with something about right there. I think looks better. And then I location. So now we have that. And as you can tell, if I go out of my camera's view, you can see the camera moves down with the words to compensate for it. So now we have a problem. As you can tell, when we play the Marvel Studios, you can see. Um, that the words are, are are appearing out of nowhere because you know the line is creating it pretty much so there's no word underneath the line